All right, I, I don't necessarily recommend doing this, but if you're one of these coaches that is just uh, infatuated with midline, like you got a crush on midline and you become a stage five stalker and a stage five creeper with midline, well, here's something you can do. Run mid triple versus the triple stack. You'd want to run basically to beat the bloodstone. If one's taking the B and two's taking the Q, that's when you would run it. It's hard to run it because of the angles involved, but nevertheless, here's how you would do it. So what's going to happen is because uh, there's a triangle, the receiver's going to make a lion, lion, lion call. He's going to get his left knee through the crotch of the mic because you have, there's two mics in a triple stack defense. The tackle's going to veer inside. He's going to get his left knee through the crotch of the safety. If they easy stunted, he'd block the easy and the receiver would go to number four in that case. The go it's going to be a back call. The backside guard and center are going to double the zero technique, get their near knee through the crotch, near hand to the stomach, toes north. Guard is going to get his left knee through the crotch of the mic. Backside tackle is going to scoop. Backside receiver is going to cut off. The A back on the Y and ready. The cadence is down, ready, set, hot. On the Y and ready, he's going to hammer, take two diagonal steps, and on the fourth step, he's going to turn his belly button to the line of scrimmage. Take three flat steps, step at 45 degrees, and he's going to kick her log number three. The quarterback is going to take the snap, jump in the backside A gap, and point the ball. It's the B-back's ball, and the B-back is going to run right through the midline. And then if the zero is on the midline, he'll bend slightly to the play side off that block. Unless number one cancels the B. If number one cancels the B, the quarterback will reseat the ball, step with his play side foot, replace number one and score, unless number two can tackle him. If two can tackle him, he'll hit the brakes and he'll flick the ball to the A back coming around. This A back can't leave till the S is set hot because he'd have two men in motion. So on the S is set hot, he's going to hammer, take two diagonal steps, and turn up for the outside hip of the receiver where he better get there and catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. Slow A-backs make fast guards, and if your A-back can't get there, he's probably a guard. So this is the true test to see if he's an A-back or a guard. At the, at the S of out, he hammers, takes two, flat, two diagonal steps, turns up for the outside hip of the receiver to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. You want to run this if you get a blood stunt, if you get a blood stunt where one takes the dive, two takes the quarterback, this is when you want to run it. So that's how you run mid-triple versus the triple stack. Now, coaches, if you're looking to install Army and Navy's triple option offense the right way the first time, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. With the triple option football academy, you'll learn how to install their offense the right way the first time through the three-step clinic, through over a hundred hours of video from 15 camps that I've done, you're going to see so many drills. You, I don't know if you can watch them all. If you do, I'll probably send you a medal. Yeah, I do a webinar with you and your staff, and then I'm on a call 24 hours a day for anything you need through the installation process. You're going to learn how to play, call it, install it, practice it. We're going to oversimplify the process so you can learn Army and Navy's offense and run it for the rest of your career. We'll talk soon.